Hello, I'm Miss Baxendale. I'm assistant head with responsibility for Key Stage 3. It's been absolutely fantastic this last couple of weeks seeing the students return with such big smiles on their faces. I'm really looking forward to working closely with you over the next few weeks and the coming months in order to make sure the children progress and are happy and safe and secure here at school. Hello, my name is Mr Can and I'm the Assistant Head in School with Responsibility for Key Stage 4. Normally at this time of year we'd be inviting you in as parents for a range of scene setting meetings. However, this year we're doing things a bit differently. Our senior tutors are here with us today and we'll be asking them a range of questions in a moment to provide you with key information at this time of the school year. Um, the senior tutors are as they were last year with the exception of Mr Pringle who's now taken over Year 7. As always, please keep up to date with the school website and the school newsletter for the important information that comes out continuously. Okay, so the first question, this goes to Mr Pringle. What is the importance of attendance and punctuality at the school? Uh, well, obviously attendance is massively important. We need your, your children here at school so that they can participate in the lessons and they can learn. Uh, however, if they are feeling unwell at this moment in time with COVID-19, uh, we would encourage you to keep them at home um, and arrange a test. Please keep us updated as you do that. So if they're unwell on that day, you let us know. Once you've arranged the test and got the results for that test, again, if you could let us know, please. Um, you may not be aware that there are there's two walking centres fairly locally. They are on Denmark Road and Ancoats Retail Centre. Uh, and with regards to punctuality, punctuality, you know, attendance, getting here on time is massively important because it sets that structure for the rest of the day. So students attend form time. We advise students to be here earlier than 8.25 so they can get to form on time, please, uh, and participate in the form time uh, to make sure that they have that focused and calm start to the day. Lovely. Uh, this next question is from Ms Davis. Um, how are we as a school supporting students in their lessons following their return? Well, first of all, all teachers at Trinity are incredibly pleased to have the children back in the classroom. It felt like a very long time without that normality that we were all used to. We know that engagement in lessons is currently excellent. We're witnessing it as we go around the school and that tells us and shows us that the students are really pleased to be back at school and getting back to normal. Students were also able to tell us in a pastoral questionnaire that they did in July when they came into school or some students did it online, which subjects they felt that they might need support with. And obviously that information has gone to subject leaders, so they're able to identify which students might well need extra support in certain subjects. Teachers are also making sure that students are getting back into good routines and they're supporting them in terms of their progress. And then for year 11 as well, we'll soon be starting the period six intervention sessions to support some of the students there as they prepare for their GCSE exams next summer. Okay, Mr Carter, question for you. How will the school monitor children's progress? Children's progress will be monitored uh, through lesson by lesson that will inform teachers' planning and future lessons. Uh, we'll be inputting data um, at various points in the year which will be shared with you. Um, the best way really of um, sharing information with parents will be through the MyEd app. Um, it's really easy to download. Um, you can click on the link via the school website. And I'd really encourage all of you to do that because it's an excellent, excellent way to find information out about your, your, your children. Uh, Parent Pay is also available uh, through the school website. Um, ultimately, that's the way that um, we use a cashless system for food, but also school trips are paid for and various things that are similar to that. Um, the best way of communicating information about your children is for you to come in for parents' evening. Um, now, we don't know what format that's going to take. That's an ongoing process. But be assured that we will communicate that with you when that's decided at school level. Lovely. Thank you, sir. Um, another question now for Mr Pringle. Um, how can the school, um, but then also I as a parent, support my child's mental well-being? Well, there's a few things that you could do, probably starting at home. Um, you know, when your, your son or daughter gets home, speak to them about their day. You know, make sure that they are they're happy in school. And if you do have any concerns, you are obviously welcome to. Your first point of contact would be their form tutor, but there's also a pastoral tutor and the pastoral leads that you can speak to, um, either be through telephone call and arrange appointments or through email. Um, but when they are at home, if you uh, ask them how their day's gone, maybe monitor their use of social media so that you can see what they're getting up to. Uh, on there. 
Um, we also, as mentioned earlier on, that uh, we asked students to complete a questionnaire over the summer. So we do have a good idea of the students who are anxious about coming back uh, and we, that has allowed us to monitor uh, quite quietly and, uh, and ensuring, confidentially, sorry, uh, that we monitor enough of that support uh, without them being too concerned about coming back to school. Uh, and you can also find a range of information on the COVID section of the school website. Okay, Mr Zamir, so how can parents help their children at home? Here at Trinity, we aim to provide your child with a calm, focused learning environment and it's important that they receive the same at home. And, and that's why it's really important that your child gets into good routine. The best way to do this will be at home, find a quiet area away from the noise of the television, away from their mobile phones, where they can get on with their homework and their revision. To monitor your child's homework for, as parents, you need to download the Satchel One app. More details as to how to download the Satchel One app, if you haven't got that already, are available on our school's website. And it's important to talk to your children about homework and about revision and about what they're doing day to day. Right, and our final question of this meeting, the scene setting meeting, goes to uh, Dr. Anamani, our senior tutor for the sixth form. So for our sixth form parents, Dr. Anamani, how will you be in the sixth form supporting them through the UCAS process? Thank you. So year 12 uh, will have time during their form time to uh, discuss their post-16 options, whether university or apprenticeships is the right way for them to go. And we encourage all of them to attend um, university open days. The majority of those at the moment are virtual open days, but we hope that as the year progresses they will become ones where they can actually go and visit the universities themselves. Um, in the summer we have a higher education week where we usually visit at least two different universities to give the students um, a real insight into university life and what it will be like for them to study. Um, in our enrichment programme we offer various activities for them to help engage them with um, life beyond Trinity and help support their UCAS application. Year 13s are currently spending their form times with form tutors, um, writing their personal statements and uh, myself, Miss Tatum and Miss Hall are always on hand to help them with that, making sure that they are making the right choices for their post-18 um, education and making sure that their um, applications are brilliant. Um, for parents, if you want support with that, you can go onto the school um, website and look on the um, sixth form um, application there and on our Moodle site there is information for parents and also students about the UCAS process and how to apply. Okay, just falls for me to say thank you very much for taking the time to watch this very important scene setting video. We do help, sorry, we do hope that you have found it informative. As Mr Pringle mentioned earlier on, your first point of contact is your uh, son or daughter's form tutor, but of course all of the senior tutors for the relevant year groups are always available to support and help as well. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs>